I couldn't help but notice that these puzzles are actually fairly straightforward. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of get the, the game that started it. Get the key to go in the key card slot, and bet it goes in the key card slot, and that's the puzzle. Versus get a diamond to put in the eye to get a riddle to answer the riddle by going to another place, and then you get to get in the other door at some point. Hey, Maybe. I got a riddle for you. What's the riddle, Gildan? What walks on four legs, and then two, and then three? Um, a zombie you're shooting the limbs off of? Sure. Did you have an answer for that one? Man. What? Because when you're born, you crawl on four limbs, and then you walk on two, and then when then you're old, you use a cane. That's and not so a guarantee. Sometimes your legs just stop. That's true, sometimes. I work at an old folks home. You see but, some shit. That, that's, I guess that's a I, li I do, I do like how your implication is No, no, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's an actual riddle. It's a legitimate riddle. Well, I'm not terrible. making this up. It's, it's something that I heard. It's terrible. I hate Isn't it? it? Worst riddle I've ever. Zero well, out of I'm ten. I'm sorry, uh, man. I didn't come up with ten, it. It's but... something that was already a thing. Zero out of ten would not riddle again. <laughs> terrible, man. Terrible. Never say that riddle ever again. Seriously, man. Just not worth it. What's worse is this guy is someone I'm friends with, and he's in game design. The other guy from earlier that I was talking about. Right. And, and he basically admitted to me that... He, his his opinion is the only opinion that really matters to him when it comes to designing things and like that's fine if you're making a game for you but if you're ever gonna make a game for an audience that should not be your mentality and then he told me that that doesn't make any sense and then I just sort of quit sounds like winter I 10 I, out of 10 factual 10 out of 10 factual, win all the games. I just noticed that you're just stuffing gold bricks in your pants. I need all the gold I can carry. Like, gold coins, I guess. I'm telling you, man, Leon is a gold you digger. Have, I'm just saying, you have a lot of pockets, so the gold coins kind of make sense, but the gold bricks, where are you keeping those? Uh, you're sitting do on you a really bank. want? Do you really want the answer to that? I, yeah. Do you really want the answer to that? Also, my friend has weird justifications for for why he hates everything. He's really pissed about Pac-Man getting into Smash Bros. because... It, he... It's a pretty random choice, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, it's not that it bothers me a, a whole lot, it's just... Why Pac-Man? Because Namco is working on the game and it's their mascot. Okay. Uh, see, now it makes more sense. I didn't know why before. Now I do. Yeah, Namco's directly shoving their dick into this Smash Bros. Okay. If they want to do Smash that, then I accept it. You can hear the moans of Smash Bros from here. They're just like, oh, Smash Brothers. So oh, good. Namco. Harder, Namco, harder. <laughs> I didn't know they were in bed with each other. And then I can tell that there was just a period where Smash Bros just went, mm, now shove Pac Man in there. <laughs> They're just like, harder, damn it! Harder, we can't. It's just not good enough. Mm. Harder, okay, stop. But the funny thing is with Smash Bros. in this analogy is you can use a lot of shit. Mm, get the spiky one, and then Sonic gets in. <laughs> is Sonic gonna be there, or is that just? Was that just like a brawl thing? No, Sonic's in, Sonic's already been confirmed. Oh. I didn't that's, I know that. That's one, of, that's one of the new main selling points of the new Smash Bros. game. It's like Mario, Sonic, Pac-Man, and Mega Man all in one game. Mega Man. Mega Man. And now, now, now it makes a bit more sense why Mega Man got in, because I didn't really get that one at first. Sonic, I guess, makes sense, because Nintendo has always had a thing with Sega. But Mega Man was weird to me, and then, like, I realized that Sega's, I mean, Capcom's, as I said earlier, super in the shitter. And they're just like, can we get like, can we get some money if we let you use Mega Man for your next big hit game? Well, everyone's been asking for it, so there you go. 
Like, I just get this weird feeling, like, just Capcom sitting there bowing. Cutscene! You'll soon harbor an awesome power. Yet it seems you would rather choose death. I'm taking Ashley back, whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, the audacity of youth. She didn't really aim those. None of those actually really hit him. He just sort of created fire. You figure fire. that if I wait here long enough, he's just gonna bust through and be like, Leon, we're Does not he? finished. Does he? No. Oh. <laughs> no. But you figure he would, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, why is there a fifth memo in here? Right here, right now. Can I read this one? Yes. Louis memo five. Wait, who's writing this? Louise. I don't know who Louise is. Um, okay, let me see if I can explain this. Uh, do you remember back in the castle, all the way back in the castle, uh -oh. there was this random guy, and he gets stabbed in the chest by a saddler? Uh, no? Fuck it, I'll just give it a... I'll just it's it okay, I'll, sh I'll show you afterwards, okay? I'm sure there, that cutscene exists on tubes, and I can just send you a link. Okay. Louise number five. From the initial stages of the recess, we have been searching for a safe and practical removal procedure of the Plaga. Oh god, I, I remember. That's gonna happen today. Of the goddamn Plaga. Ironically, it turns out the real objective of this research was not to find a way to remove the Plagas from the infected persons, but to find a way to so that the Plaga could not be removed from the body. So okay, pause. How... How do you mistake the two projects? No, no, it's... Uh, okay. Basically, in order to figure out how to make something super effective, it, we have to figure out how to remove it so we can make it immune to said thing. Oh. That's not that funny. Does that make any sense? I thought he was tricked. No, no, it's like... So, we're gonna create this thing, right? We're gonna make it super resilient, so you can't remove it by that means. So it makes it even right. more difficult to remove it. I thought I thought that they were like giving him weird instructions to like do one thing, and it magically. Let, let me see if let me see yeah. if I can apply in logic. To no, 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 no. I get your logic makes sense. That's fine. I, I was gonna say, remember how you adapted to the stupidity? Yeah. We had to expose you to the stupidity before we it no longer made you shock and awe. I already got I already got what you were trying to say. That makes sense. In the end, we were able to find out that the Plagas could be removed only by exposing them to special radiation or shooting them. The only drawback with this method is that it is very painful procedure. Great, great, awesome, fantastic. Like that's just you know that's just because we know we have to get it out of Leon at some point. And he's reading this, and he's reading this going, alright, literally any word other than painful, very painful, oh god, oh come on. Since the Plaga attaches itself to the nerves, there is a possibility that it may impair the consciousness of the host. Uh, I because figure that would be the last thing, considering you're doing, like, damage to the nerves. Because, like, I, I fucking, 
Do the nerves have to do with your consciousness? It attaches itself to the nerves. To your, to your con, like, you, So you figure there's gonna be permanent nerve damage and, like, impair the consciousness of the host. I, I figure that'd be the last thing you want to worry about here. I guess. Oops, I might pass out. Alright, just go keep going. Another fact that must be mentioned is that once the plaga grow into an adult, the removal procedure could kill the host. Oh, awesome. But perhaps death isn't so bad when you think about the alternative.